We've got wildfire smoke from fires in Canada as well as the western United States. Much of that smoke is impacting us from Canada, but you'll notice in the western U.S. we've got smoke as well. And without a wind, unfortunately, that is going to keep the smoke around. But it's not keeping people off of Lake Metagoshi having a great time at 75 degrees. Might not. 82 degrees still hazy out there and that's the case throughout the entire Peace Garden State. We're at 82 but you'll notice still in the 70s in Botno Rugby as well as Stanley with a very very light wind out of the east and that smoke is going to reduce visibility later tonight like it did this morning. So temperatures not too bad for right now but it's going to be getting hotter starting tomorrow with Thursday likely being our hottest day of the week. So as far as the smoke and haze, that's not going to be changing anytime soon, folks. That is going to linger tomorrow, possibly even into the end of the work week. Tomorrow morning is going to be a warm one again with morning lows in the 60s. A weak little disturbance may bring a couple of hit or miss showers, but I think many of us are going to remain dry overall. Look at the temperatures for tomorrow. 90 start to increase across central North Dakota, the western third of North Dakota, mainly US 85 and Montana. That's where they have the likelihood of triple digit temperatures for tomorrow and the heat in the seas are going to be well above that. So mainly low 60s for tonight. The wind still light, mostly out of the southeast tomorrow. 80s for Botno, Rugby, Stanley, Minot looking at 90 degree temperatures. So tomorrow's best chance of 90s are going to be near and west of Highway 83. Eventually that chance of 90s going to spread eastward as we go into your Thursday. Look at the highs of the Turtle Mountains down to Rugby and Harvey 90s likely mid to upper 90s for Minot, Partial, Mohol, Bowbells and down into Garrison and looking at that 99. Getting pretty close to that triple digit or century mark for Minot. We haven't been at 100 degrees or hotter in Minot since, um, since August 16th of 2021. So if we do reach 100 degrees on Thursday, it's been since 2021 since we've reached that century mark. Notice Friday morning lows. Unfortunately, they're likely going to be in the 70s, so that's why things are going to be pretty oppressive at times. The last time we had a 70 degree morning low or warmer back in July of last year. So on top of that, that could potentially be getting pretty close to records for at least morning lows. Friday afternoon, not as hot, but still muggy. We'll likely be looking at temperatures back in the 90s once again for your Friday with those dew points gradually lowering as we go into the weekend. So here comes the heat folks for tomorrow lingering through Friday. We're at least back in the 80s over the weekend with a couple of slight chances of a shower or storm hit or miss at 20%. But don't be fooled. We could be back in the 90s as early as next Monday after we get a brief break from the weekend.